here, there, and everywhere. Yeah. SAFM 106.2 FM in Tanin. This is the SAFM Talking Point. The chairperson of the Segunjalo Group, Dr. Iqbal Sove, has dismissed reports that he has been using the bank account of one of his companies, which received billions of rand of government pension funds as his personal piggy bank. The Sunday Times reported at the weekend that Dr. Sove colluded with some IO board members to secure an investment from the PIC, that is the Public Investment Corporation, which eventually led to the PIC making a 4.3 billion rand investment into his IT company, this uh, IO uh, company. He joins us on the line. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Soviet. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Good morning, Bongi. Uh, that's quite an introduction, and <laughs> it, it's, it's almost uh, um, uh, verbatim from the fake news of the Sunday Times, and I'm really happy to be able to set the record straight. So thank you very much for having me on your program this morning. please do because a headline like a uh, survey's 4.3 billion rand pic piggy bank and further saying that how media mogul raided public funded tech investment to prop up his empire and pay his bills do you dispute this headline look bongani uh, bongi sorry first of all i mean the, the sunday times needs to sell newspapers they have complete disregard for objectivity for facts uh, they did not include uh, any any sort of response from us they did not bother to contact the uh, management team the board of directors of io or ai they mentioned a number of people in the report that they did not bother to contact at all. So let's go through the, the facts of the situation. Let's ignore for the moment that the Sunday Times and the Business Day, which is part of the TSO Blackstar Group, has waged an incredible disinformation campaign against Second Jala and its investing companies. Mm. And we can talk about it from two angles. The first, this is a, a very intense anti-transformation campaign and secondly, it is a campaign of survival in the media space. But let's deal with the facts. So what are the facts, in fact, in terms of the um, Sunday Times article? First of all, to suggest that IO is owned by myself is extremely misleading. IO is a public company on the JSC. The second JALA group, through one of its subsidiaries, is a shareholder in IO. The effective shareholding of IO is in, fa- in IO through the second JALA group is less than 30%. So this is the first misleading fact. The okay. second is the board of IO is a JSC listed board. It has highly qualified individuals. It is an independent board. And in fact, the PIC itself in the recent past decided to uh, reconstitute that board by appointing, amongst others, the chairman of the board to to make sure that the board is, in fact, thoroughly independent. And you can check this on the JSC Sense announcement. So the chairman of the board is Wallace Mgorky. There is a superb executive management team on IO itself. So any suggestion that in any way uh, IO has been influenced to do whatever is completely untrue okay. and has no basis in facts whatsoever. Let's pause so, right there. The let's pause right there, Dr. Suvi. Let's let's pause right there. That you uh, you your shareholding is thirty uh, percent or there, thereabout. How how what's the relevance of that? Because this you you have a stake and interest in this company. Surely, uh, you know the direction that it takes will be very important to you. Yeah. Of course, the point I'm making mm. Bongi, is that everyone referred to Business Day Sunday Times keeps on referring to IO as surveys company. The fact is, the second JALA group is but one shareholder yeah. of IO. The PIC owns 29%. You know, second JALA holdings effectively is a shareholder at about 30%. But I just want to state that for the record because that is how they mislead the public. Yeah. That's the first 
The second thing, the IO management team made a brilliant presentation to the PIC in terms of creating the largest black ICT company in the country and have successfully done that. The capital that was raised by IGO is to be utilized by them in acquisitions, in the growth of their business, etc. And for the record, to the best of my knowledge, certainly, and I'm not a board member of IGO, I'm not part of the management team of IGO, but to the best of my knowledge, IGO raised capital of 4.3 billion, and today, IO has more than 4.5 billion on their books in, in the company. So this is a company with zero debt, okay? It's amazing that a, a, a company like this, which is, which is a, the largest black ICT company, is attacked repeatedly because there's a sinister agenda behind that attack. And okay. that sinister agenda is to undermine it and to undermine transformation in this country right now. Can anybody point out at any stage what IO has done wrong? So okay. Let's deal. Let's deal with these two let's, executives. Let's deal with the other other issues be, be, be before we run out of time. Before we take callers, callers as well. Let, let's look at uh, the PIC paying 4.3 billion rand for a 29 percent stake. Right. Uh, the share there. Uh, was 15 cent we are told but the PIC paid 43 43 rand per share how do you justify that Bongi that is the biggest load of rubbish and the kind of disinformation that only the Sunday Times can do Mm. and of course business day what is the reality first of all there is no such thing as shares being worth 15 cents ICT companies by the way the world over in South Africa on the JSC why must there be differences between white ICT companies and black ones if you take dimension data, if you take adapt IT, EOH, and I can go on and on and on, etc. All of these companies are valued on the basis of discounted cash flows, on the basis of future earnings. There was a comprehensive pre-listing statement which was presented to institutions. By the way, the institutions committed towards 5.3 billion, uh, not just the 4.3 billion. It is, it is dishonest to suggest that only 4.3 billion was committed for the listing. There was a specific reason why 4.3 billion was utilized by the company, and that's to retain its empowerment status because the PIC would allow for that. The reality is this thing of 15 cents is, is complete rubbish and has no basis in fact. Okay. Uh, in fact, it, 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 makes, it, makes, uh, it shows the incompetence of the journalists in Business Day and the Sunday Times that they refer to an ICT company on the back of ICT companies are about software, about development, about consulting, advisory services. These are not things. They are property companies, retail companies, mining companies you value on NAV, ICT companies you value on the basis of a forward earnings discounted cash flow model. And I mean, this is a standard valuation. So again, I'm trying to explain to you how this, by the way, has anybody ever pointed out of the PIC's investments on JSC listed companies of 1,6 trillion? Okay. That almost 1,5 trillion goes to white companies on the JSC. Sure. And less than 100 billion of that goes to black companies. Has anyone ever asked why? There are so few black companies on the JSC. Has anyone ever asked why there are different standards for investments in white companies and black companies? But, but J- if, if, if there are allegations of if, if there are allegations of flouting of rules, then it really doesn't matter uh, whether it's a black or white or white. Let, let me let me ask this question, uh, Doctor uh, Sovi. How do you then um, dismiss the uh, PIC's head of internal audit, uh, Lufuno uh, Nemakovani's uh, uh, assertion that uh, the the IO deal involved blatant flouting of governance and approval processes? That's number one. Victor Siane, who is a, was a portfolio ad, uh, auditor at that time, saying that there were told what to do insofar as this particular deal is concerned. He was responsible for IO. They were told what to do and even when they objected uh, to certain uh, uh, processes, they were told, go this way. They have, they have uh, uh, come forward and, 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 and said that. How do you dismiss that? 
Okay, you are referring to what these two gentlemen said at the PIC inquiry, mm. first of all. You are referring to what they said about internal PIC processes. Right. IO as a company has no sight whatsoever of those processes. IO is a company that went to many institutions to present its uh, detailed PLS. It presented that detailed PLS to the PIC. What the PIC processes are internally has absolutely nothing to do with IO, and it should have nothing to do with IO. However, I would caution extremely mm. to taking the view of, uh, of one or two individuals without having heard the, in the, the views of other PIC executives, in particular the top executives, because these are relatively junior people, okay? Mm. Wait for the top executives, and let's hear what they have to say. All of us must not prejudge this commission. It's very important that the commission be given an opportunity to do its work unhindered and uninfluenced. And for every person that says something, there may well be someone else that says something else. I mean, that's the basic tenet of, of fairness and, and social justice over here. So, so let's, let's, let's get the other side of the story as well. But we, or let me say, IO itself, right, is mm. not responsible for what happens at the PIC. I mean, that's absurd. By the way, out of all the 95% of the white companies that the PIC has invested 1.5 trillion in on the JSC, has anybody asked about their processes? And why is there this focus on IO? 9.3 billion was invested by the PIC six months before Steinoff collapsed in, the, in, in, in one company, owned by one individual. That 9.3 billion is worth zero today. Is it because the individual is linked powerfully to people in, in, in the government? Uh, there are, there's more than 100 billion invested in various companies, and that is worth zero today. PIC invested 4.3 billion in IGO in order to do acquisitions, grow the business, to make that investment at least worth triple, and, and more than that money is present there today. This is an agenda. IO is a deflection tactic by powerful corrupt interest mm. in order to hide the real corruption that occurred at the PIC. And we will not stand for that. It's also an attempt by anti-transformation people in this country to roll back the gains of black economic empowerment and to try and, and embolden themselves and take back. And this is, frankly speaking, this is not about governance issues. Yeah. There so, is nothing in that Sunday Times article about governance. Let me quickly... Look, look at the two individuals quickly that yeah. the Sunday Times mentioned, because this is important. According to the chairman of IO, Advocate Judge Wallace and Gorky, a highly respected individual, these two individuals resigned off the board of IO because they were called to task and a forensic was going to be applied to them because they were prepared to take the money that was raised and, and take 3.2 billion of that and spend it on four transactions. These transactions, according to Advocate and Gorky, they were overvalued. There was a high suspicion that these two individuals were possibly getting kickbacks. There was a high suspicion that they were involved in these deals. When Advocate and Gorky asked these two individuals to subject themselves to a conflict of interest and to subject themselves to, uh, uh, to, to, to telling the forensic inquiry, they resigned the next day. So the IO board, according to Advocate and Gorky, the chairperson, had in fact protected the funds of the PIC and protected the funds of other, other shareholders. Okay. And that must be applauded. These two individuals are extremely dishonest. And in fact, they, and Advocate Ngorki told me, after they had resigned, they came to him and to various people and told them that they wanted a settlement in order uh, to keep quiet. And Advocate Ngorki and his board rightfully said that these two, in, they, they, the IOS got nothing to hide. Let, and let, they will not give them let, a single cent. Let's and move on to another issue, um, uh, uh, Dr. Surf, because it's, it's going to be very important, Dr. Surf, for us to, to, to get to understand uh, all, the, all the angles that have been raised here. You are saying that what happens at PIC uh, internally, it's got, it's got nothing to do with yourselves. I mean, you presented uh, a, a credible uh, a deal and a bank.
unthinkable deal. And, 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 not me. Just yeah. for the record, I was never involved. Mr. Siani is lying. Okay. Absolutely so, lying. Fine. No, no, let me finish. Yeah. I was ne- I'd never, ever once 